guys so welcome back to my channel you guys i want to go ahead and do a fall must-have video these are all the products i really do believe in and every single time fall comes around i go ahead and pull these products out um and i do want to mention it is 98 degrees outside and i do have a scarf and a sweater on and i'm just a whole fraud right now because it's a little bit too hot to be wearing this but yeah with that being said you guys want to stick around and see what i do have then go ahead and keep on watching so the first two i do have are foundations and i've been wearing these for quite a while but i still feel like they're perfect for the fall time the first one is the nars radiant longwear foundation and this is such a beautiful foundation i always recommend it for all skin types whether you're dry or oily it doesn't matter it is perfect for your skin so what i do love about this foundation is it's not a matte or a dewy foundation it's like a perfect medium and for the fall time i just think it's perfect because it does give a little bit of glow to the skin so the next one is a color pop foundation in the shade 185 and i have been wearing this again recently and i do have it on my face today even though it claims to be a matte foundation i don't feel like it's too matte for the skin um because i noticed when i wore it in the summer it was kind of melting off my face because it's just way too hot for it um but right now that's a little bit cooler outside i feel like it just looks really really good on the skin so these two foundation y'all i really do recommend if you don't have these go ahead grab these right now because they're bomb all right so moving on to blushes these are my favorite when it comes to fall because i do love an orange blush or a purple blush it doesn't matter the first one i do want to talk about is a sleek blush in the shade sahara and let me just show y'all what it looks like it's a very peachy orangey blush and oh, it just looks so good on the skin y'all like it's absolutely beautiful i'm not completely sure if they do have this in stores but if they do y'all go ahead and grab this because it looks so good on the skin and the next orange blush i do want to go ahead and talk about is the sephora colorful blush in the shade hot flush this one oh y'all it has a little shimmer to it let me go ahead and swatch it it does have some shimmer to it but it looks so freaking good on the skin i hope y'all can see it on camera um but just go ahead and add it on your face a little flush of it and it just looks absolutely perfect so the next one is the mac film noir blush and this is a very deep purple blush now you can go ahead and contour this it doesn't really matter because it's that deep so you can go ahead and contour your face for sure but let me go ahead and give y'all a swatch it is very pigmented and dark so you have to be careful with this because y'all i tried it one time i went heavy handed with it and it just it wouldn't come off my face i had to go ahead and just redo my whole makeup because it was just way too pigmented so with a light fluffy brush a light fluffy brush i cannot say that for the life of me um use a big fluffy brush and go ahead and add a little bit of that to the cheeks just like a light wash of the color and you should be fine but i'm telling y'all right now just be careful all right so the last blush i want to talk about is the anastasia blush kit and the shades in here scream fall at least to me they do it has a nice purple shade a gray shade this gray right here is supposed to be like a contour but honestly i just feel like it's too ashy for my skin type so i really don't use that and the blush kit also has a nice mauve shade on top and on the bottom you have like a peachy shade so this is absolutely perfect i do recommend it i've seen it at marshall's y'all for 15 dollars so go ahead and get it for cheap if you can but if you don't it is 30 dollars. so it's not too bad because you do get four blushes in the kit so moving on to eyeshadows i do have quite a lot because i couldn't decide what to narrow down so the first two i want to talk about is the wet and wild eyeshadow palettes honestly they have been killing it this year and they have so many different palettes out there but the first one i do want to talk about is the rose and the air palette if we can go ahead and open it up so this is what it looks like it has a very nice orange shade here a gold a berry shade right there a little purple shade what is the color mauve that's what i'm trying to say a mauve shade honestly a very deep brown shade of gold like it is just a fall palette and the crazy part is it's only five dollars which is so insane they're so creamy and blendable and i've used it in a tutorial before and it just works so nicely on my skin like look at this y'all it is insane and it's only five dollars like i just I can't now moving on to the next eyeshadow palette they do have the fit for a queen eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like i just love the color scheme i don't know what it is because it's so simple but for some reason i do love it they do have a goldish greenish shade right here a brown crease color a light pink shade with gold reflex in there and also red shade so these are just so nice and pigmented and they're only five dollars again i tell y'all they're so cheap it is crazy to me so moving on to those colors i do have three 
three eyeshadows from them. The first one is their Sasha Sienna's palette and their Baked Browns palette. Let me go ahead and open them up for y'all. But I really do love their formula because it's very creamy and blendable on the eyes. Um, it is a little bit pricey, so I will say that. But at the same time, I feel like you're getting staple colors you will need every single day. So these are what they look like in the palettes. And these are just everyday colors you need. I love the oranges and the browns and just everything in here. It's just such a perfect fall eyeshadow palette. Let me give you all a quick swatch so y'all can see how pigmented they are. They are very, very pigmented and creamy, so I do recommend these. All right, so here are some swatches. They're terrible swatches, but at the same time, y'all can see they're very pigmented. You don't need a lot of product with this. Go ahead and grab a brush, one dip, and you're good to go. Now, the next one is their Encore eyeshadow, and these are about $20 a pop, so they're very, very expensive, and I somehow broke it when I was moving, so... I'm low-key upset so let me try to show y'all without it falling out um, of the packaging and this is what it looks like it's a very nice brownish orangey um, reflect if I could go ahead and describe it as such now let me give y'all the swatch that y'all need because this shade is so pretty on the eyes I just love how wet it looks like hopefully y'all can see this it has a very deep brown orangey shade to it but the gold reflect just makes it look so good. So the next eyeshadow palette is the Kylie Sippin' Pretty palette. And even though it's $65, that that number just gets me sometimes. I do think it's worth it. Now, at first, when you do look at it, you probably don't think it's a fall palette. But if you do go ahead and break it up in sections, you can kind of see it. Um, but this first section right here is a very, like, fall section to me. They have the browns in there, the golds, the reds, and whatnot. And this is, like, more of the colorful section. But I do have a nice gray shade right here, a black, a very mauve blue reflect. I can't describe that color. It's a little bit different out there. Um, but it does have a lot of fall colors in here. And they're so creamy, pigmented. They do have a little bit of fallout. But at the same time, I do think it's worth the $65. But at the same time, my sister bought it for me. So... I shouldn't be talking, but if you have the money, go ahead and get it. So the last eyeshadow palette is a Jaclyn Hill palette. Of course, you guys saw this coming. Like, it has all the fall shades you need. Like, honestly, I don't have to say too much about this. Y'all have seen this a million times at this point. Honestly, it has all your oranges, your reds, your blues, your berries. Like, every single thing you need in the palette, it has in here. So I do recommend this. I'm sure y'all have seen this at this point a million times so i'm not going to talk too much about this one right here so moving on to my favorite part which is lippies i feel like lipsticks are what falls about you have your purples your browns your oranges like those are my type of colors honestly so the first group i want to talk about is the purple so let me go ahead and grab those and i just love a very dark vampy purple shade and the first one i want to talk about is a colored rain um liquid lipstick in the shade tootsie and this is what it looks like let me go ahead and give y'all a swatch because this color is the darkest purple I have ever seen. So this is Tootsie right here and just look how deep this color is. It's almost like a very brown um, purple shade but on my skin tone y'all and anyone's skin tone honestly it is so pretty. Now the next one is the Kat Von D um, liquid lipstick in the shade. I hate this name so much like exorcism. But this shade is also very deep and purple and it's kind of like a lighter purple but at the same time it's still kind of deep on the skin. So this is what it looks like right here. I just love this color so much. It looks good. Honestly in the fall and spring I still wear this color. It doesn't matter. It's just absolutely beautiful. I just hate the name. Now moving on to Milani. They do have the liquid lipstick in the shade Obsession and it's a very light purple. I think it's a little bit lighter than these two right here. But let me go ahead and swatch it. So this is what it looks like on the skin. And like I said, it's a little bit lighter. But at the same time, it's a very berry purple. Um, I feel like these kind of go from berry to like a deep purple. And then very, very deep. But nonetheless, y'all, it's so pretty on the lips. And they're all expensive except for the Milani one. This is about $10. The rest are about 20 or 19 or 18 something like that um so yeah those are all the prices so the next two are orange liquid lipsticks and i do love that color on my skin tone i'm just obsessed with orange the first one's a kylie 22 matte liquid lipstick and this is one of the most wearable oranges i've seen because some of them out there are a little bit too bright um for my face but let me give y'all a swatch of this and this is what it looks like it's a very bright orange but at the same time you go ahead and pair with a lip liner it looks really good on the skin now moving on to color rain liquid lipstick in the shade brick house 
This is a very deep orange, almost like a reddish orange shade, but at the same time, it's still orange, at least to me it is. Um, but let me give y'all a swatch of this. And this color, y'all, this color gets me every single time. Like, look how nice it looks. Just imagine it on the lips, it's even better. Um, it's a very deep orange. I just feel it looks so good for fall. And these two, y'all, I recommend it. Very comfortable on the lips, they're not drying. And to be quite honest, these are one of my favorite formulas out there when it comes to liquid lipsticks. The only part that sucks is you can only get it online, but just... Take my word, trust me, press click, and let it come to your house because they're bomb. So the next shade, I wear it every single time, y'all. Like, I cannot help it. And I do have it on my lips today. This is an Ulta Matte Lip Cream in the shade Starin. And it is just so nice on the lips. It's not drying whatsoever. It's very comfortable. And I don't like light reds on me. I like it to be very dark and just deep. And this color just looks so good on my skin. I just... I love it so much and they're very affordable i'm not sure they still sell this because i haven't checked i've had it for about two years now so probably need to go ahead and get another one but these are bomb and they're very affordable at the same time so that's a good thing now moving on to the browns i feel like when it comes to fall you need to have a brown lippy if you don't you're not doing it correctly i feel like all right so i do have four in front of me the first two are from dosa colors in the shade chocolate wasted and cork i always talk about these two but the formula for these are so freaking good. They're very comfortable. They're not drying. I know I say that all the time, but when it comes to matte liquid lipsticks, it needs to be comfortable. It needs to not be too dry on the lips, and these last all day. So let me go ahead and give y'all a swatch of these. And I also do like the packaging. Like, it's just so cute. All right, so the first one is Chocolate Waste. It's a very dark, deep brown. This is like one of the most darkest browns I've seen in a while. And the next one is Cork, which is like a nice milk chocolate brown let me go ahead and double dip in that all right so these are what the two look like and i feel like they're very fall color so if y'all don't have these i really do recommend it now the next two is from fenty beauty the first one actually it's on veil and this shade i wanted to go ahead and compare it to um the dose of colors chocolate wasted because those two look very similar but i feel like this one's a little bit lighter but let me swatch this next to dose of colors chocolate wasted Oh yeah, it's definitely, definitely lighter, all right? So the middle one is Dose of Color Chocolate Wasted, and this is a Fenty Beauty one, but at the same time, when this dries down, it looks a lot darker than that. At least on me, it does. So those are all the colors. And the next one, I do have the last one for brown. Liquid Lipstick is Anastasia Mod. I think that's how you say Mod. Let me open it up. And I feel like this is very similar to the Fenty one or the Cork one. I'm not sure yet. Let me swatch it. Oh no, this is, all right, this is a completely different category. This one here, it's like a terracotta brown shade. Like, look at all these colors, y'all. Like, I am so obsessed right now. They're so pretty. So those are all the lipsticks I do have. And after swatching all of these, I realized I have so many colors when it comes to fall. But I just feel like you need all the brown shades, the orange shades, the reds. What other color am I missing? Oh, and purples. You need all those colors in your life. All right, so the last thing I do have is candles. And you can't have a fall video without candles. So the two that I do usually get have either vanilla in them or they do have um, marshmallows. Those two are my favorite scents to smell. Now, the first one I do have is the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow candle. And this just smells so good. I already went ahead and burned it a little bit, as y'all can see. But this scent, it is just so, like homey and just i don't know it just makes me happy every single time i smell it so i do recommend it i know you can't smell it but go to bath and body and smell it because y'all like it is amazing honestly and the last one the last one brings back memories um it brings back like happy memories to me i don't know why but marshmallow fireside this smell is my absolute favorite i have to go ahead and buy it every single year and oh uh, I feel like some people won't like this smell. It just depends what you like. But this smell is just so good. And it just brings back a lot of memories. A lot of happy memories. So I always go ahead and buy it every single year. Um, so yeah. I just want to go ahead and share that with you guys because you need candles. You always do. All right, so those are all the products I do have. I did have quite a bit, but at the same time, I feel like these are staples you need in your collection. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. I love y'all so much, and I'll see you in my next one.